The French Riviera, it's where the beautiful people come to see and be seen. Sports cars vie for attention with luxury brands. And wherever the wealthy show off their money, there are inevitably those who want to take it away. This was the scene outside the Carlton Hotel at the end of last month. An armed robber made off with more than $130 million worth of diamonds that had been on display on the ground floor. And it's not the only heist that's taken place this year. We are not worried, but we are concerned by the effect that these events can have on the image of Cannes. It's a town that's known the world over, not only as a tourist destination, but also as a place to hold conferences. The robberies have prompted jewellery shop owners to review their own security and to look at ways of working together to prevent thefts. This shop installed special security doors 10 years ago after it suffered two burglaries in the space of a few months. First, I pushed the button at the external door. Then, once staff are satisfied I'm not a burglar, they let me through the second set of doors. The shop owners say it's too simple just to blame the police when a high-profile robbery takes place. Jewellers must also take responsibility for their security. In the case of the Carlton Hotel Diamond Exhibition, they say it was a robbery waiting to happen. You don't want to do that in a hotel where everybody can go in, where everybody can walk around uh, with normal glazings, uh, with not more security than what the hotel puts in place and the jeweller itself. The police have reacted by stepping up their visibility. Extra officers have been sent from the nearby city of Nice. They want to reassure tourists and act as a deterrent to would-be robbers. The police can do a certain amount, but it's not enough. If we work together with jewelers, bankers and hotel owners, and all the luxury brands, then we can be more effective. An investigation into the Carlton heist is underway, but it's easy for the thieves to recut the diamonds. The chances of retrieving the jewellery seem to be slim. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, on the French Riviera.